the object index signature is useful in two occasions. One, when you want to access an object dynamically. Two, when you don't know the properties of an object, but you know the types of the keys and the values of those properties. Let's take a look at the first one. In this example, we have an object with two properties, an ID and a rating. We can access the properties with a dot, or we can treat the object as an array and access the property by the name of the property. Now let's create a variable of the name of the property and put it in the square bracket. This is what we call dynamically accessing an object. It's commonly used to loop over all properties in an object. This works in JavaScript, but not in TypeScript. The error says that you can use the string type to index this object, but I guess you won't be able to figure out what the problem is with this information. Well, you have two ways to fix it. Here is the first and easier one. Just change let to const. The error is gone. Now move your cursor to the variable. You can see it's not a string, but a literal. That's right. You need to use a string literal instead of a string to index an object in TypeScript. Another way to fix this is to change the indexing type from a literal to a string by using the index signature. To use the index signature, you need an interface for your object. You need to state the type of the key and the types of the value. On the left hand side of the column, we use the square bracket for the key and say it's a string. By the way, the word key can be anything you like, such as index or restaurant or whatever. On the right hand side of the column, we know the value should be a number, but you can't use the string literal type on the key. For something like that, you need to look into the utility type record. Let's move on to the next point. Say you are dealing with an object from maybe an API, you don't know all the property, but you know the key must be a string and the value must be a string or a number. You can use the index signature to type this object. Furthermore, if you need only some of the properties, you can specify those after the index signature and then TypeScript will be able to hint you with those properties. You don't have to type out all properties now and there will be no error in TypeScript. But these specified properties must present in the object. The main caveat of the index signature is that TypeScript won't warn you when you try to access non-existing property. That's all for the object index signature. Thanks for watching.